Welcome to the Vambra Park Estate. This is perhaps the least well-known project by the famous architects Chamberlain, Powell and Bonn. Now they designed the Barbican and the Golden Lane in the City of London, and also some amazing university buildings in Leeds and Cambridge. Now this is a, a less well-known project, it's a council estate, it was finished in 1963, and it's in the London borough of Greenwich. So the estate was built at a time where London was doing a lot of post-war reconstruction and lots of local authorities like Greenwich were commissioning good architects to do amazing housing estates for their residents around the city. And originally there were two plans, one to just build flats and the other to just build houses. But in the end, the council commissioned the architects to do a mix. And so we have a tower in the corner of the site, eight story tower with a kind of hammerhead lift shaft. This type, which is where I live, which is a kind of terrace of raised bungalows on garages, and these breeze block larger terraces of homes, which have their own private gardens at the back and are interspersed with open public spaces between them. This is my flat. Uh, it's one of the bungalows on top of the garages. You can see that right in the middle of the plan is the fireplace, which is kind of weird for a modernist building. Uh, but that sort of gives a, a kind of anchor to the living room and then the kitchen kind of flows out into this space over this threshold which is all part of the original design. It means that you have a very very small plan, very compact home, it's quite a small space but it still feels kind of open and airy and refreshing. The architects were working on a really tight budget and so they had to make their money go far and they did that by using quite common materials like normal concrete blocks and timber panelling that would have been cheap to buy and cheap to assemble. By saving money like that they were able to keep a little bit of budget back to put in some very special flourishes. So above me there is a, a very skinny skylight which just lets a bit of daylight wash down this, this timber screen. It's a really nice touch that you maybe wouldn't see in council housing these days. That's in the interior, but around the estate there's, there's similar flourishes like specially cast street signs and, and little arched lamp fittings for the street lights and some really cool kind of space age windows for the larger houses too. My name is Pete and we're in one of the houses on the Vanbrugh Park estate. When you see the house kind of from the front, it's, it's quite a kind of closed, um, I guess, yeah, quite a closed facade. And you don't necessarily expect, well, you, you expect it to be quite small and kind of pokey inside because of that. So when you do come in and it's this big open space with this, yeah, kind of the, the, the chimney leading you kind of like right at the heart of the house and leading you up, um, it's just, yeah, really unexpected. and. It, it feels really kind of um, an effective way of, you know, tying the space together. We've kind of um, tried to restore that area back uh, by kind of removing lots of 80s additions and knocking out the old gas fireplace and, and installing a wood burner. Um, because we, yeah, to us, that was kind of one of the first things that, that we did when we moved in. Because it's such, again, because it's just such a the key part of the house and it's what really we fell in love with. I think, I mean, something that's interesting um, that we've noticed since we've moved here is kind of speaking to a lot of the older residents on the estate or the people that kind of, uh, a lot of people have lived there, have lived here since, since, they, uh, since it was first built or have grown up here and moved away and even kind of come back. Um, and even the people who don't necessarily love the kind of the brutalist architecture, um, they might not love the, the aesthetics of the place, but they've all kind of commented on how much they love living here and how, how kind of effective the houses are. What can we learn from an estate like Vambra Park today? Maybe it's the landscaping that is the most successful part of this place. 
The architects saved money where they could, using simple and cheap materials to build the architecture. And that gave them extra money they could spend on special flourishes around the estate to lift the spirits of the whole place. They also spent time, energy and money really considering the landscaping. Mature trees were retained wherever possible, and there are well-proportioned open spaces that dot the estate, tying together the houses and the bungalow terraces. The majority of the estate is also pedestrianised, with cars kept to a single road that runs through, meaning the entire place feels safe, calm, and children are able to play freely without fear of traffic. It's a different kind of architecture to what Chamberlain, Powell and Bonn achieved at the Barbican. Vanbrugh Park Estate is much less formal, much less grandiose. The design is somehow relaxed, very accommodating of residents who've made changes over time. In fact, their changes have added to the character of the place rather than detracted from it. But there are still recurring architectural motifs that tie the whole place together, especially at the edges. This brick wall forms a kind of pergola that runs along the back gardens of the larger terraced houses, and then between them, forming a kind of fake aqueduct that marks a threshold between the estate and the surrounding landscape. And the towers on the end of the raised bungalow terraces, which form kind of triumphal gateways to the estate, while also accommodating bin storage within. You can still see in places the laundry facilities that the architects added to give residents space to hang their washing out to dry. Not all these spaces are used as they were originally intended, but the important thing is that there is space for neighbours to meet each other and for a communal spirit to grow and mature over time.